What I'm gonna do today is I'm going to replace a existing queenless hive that's starting to fail. It uh, refused to take a new queen. It never produced a new queen. So I'm gonna combine it with an existing hive or actually with a new hive. So what I've done is I've taken the old weak hive uh, off of its stand and kind of hauled it off into the woods about 100 yards away and replaced it with a new hive. So the new stronger hive is in the exact same position that the old weak hive was. I make sure that I put a very small entrance reducer on the new stronger hive that's sitting on the stand. At this point, I go back out into the woods where I've placed the old hive and I start pulling the frames out and I shake all the bees off of all the frames one at a time and I make sure there's no bees on those frames and the bees will start to swarm around and eventually they will fly back to the original location of the old hive. The reason I walk out into the woods so far away is in case there are any laying workers or a virgin queen, um, they don't know where the hive is and they'll be left out in the, in the woods. They won't be able to get back, but all the forager bees, some of the younger bees will be able to find their way back to the hive. I use plenty of smoke on the bees on the old hive uh, that's out in the woods with me and uh, I smoke it really good before I get out there and while I'm out there I keep smoking it and that'll kind of induce the the bees to gorge on any of the honey that's there that'll give them the opportunity when they show up to the new hive they'll be able to beg their way into the hive um, with an offering of honey so the, the 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 new hive will accept them if they've got a full belly At the new hive that's sitting on the stand, remember, it has an entrance reducer on it. Um, that entrance reducer will, will, will close the opening and the existing bees in the new hive will be able to accept the old bees into the hive one or two at a time. Uh, without the entrance reducer, uh, all the bees that are swarming will rush back to the hive and run right into that and that has the potential uh, for the new hive to think that they're being robbed even though they're not being robbed the uh, the old bees are just trying to get back into their hive into a new hive um, it'll end up starting a bee war so a nice small entrance reducer will allow them to kind of vet each bee as it comes into the hive 